Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again. So today's video is going to be inside Maya and we are going to see how we can create a clay shader by using Maya and Arnold. So without delay, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have a, a model and already I placed my camera and I have a pretty dark background and few basic light setup I have. Basically, I have a key light and I have few uh, supporting lights and I uh, have a rim light as well. So I'm going to start with scratch. So let's right click over here and let's assign new material. Of course, this material is going to be a uh, Arnold material or Arnold shader and we are going to use AI standard surface, right? I'm going to name it probably clay shader, something like that. And nothing fancy. What I'm going to do firstly, I'm going to set my color. So might be clay can be a gray clay or a whitish clay or a brownish clay. It's all up to you how you are going to or what kind of clay we are going to create, right? So I'm going to click over here and probably I'm going to select a brown, dark brown sort of clay somewhat, right? And I'm going to hit render. So already I did some experiment over here, but let's start hit render. It's no way looking like a clay. So few changes I'm going to do. So clay should not be that shiny, right? So I'm going in my clay shader and I'm going probably I can, I can uh, reduce the weight of specular or might be I can increase the roughness. So in this case, I'm going to increase roughness. Something like that, I'm getting pretty good amount of weight feeling or it's something like it's it's just this model has just made with the help of water to just shape them, right? Something like that I'm getting, uh, might be I can reduce a little weight as well. So somewhat we are getting a chocolate kind of feeling, right? So apart from that, what else we can do might be... Uh, I can use specular color should not be white, right? So might be I can take same color, but a little bright might be. It's all up to you, right? Something like that. I'm getting specularity as well. Might be I can increase the specular weight as well just to touch a little, right? Something like that. Now I'm getting a somewhat clay kind of stuff but not great so what i want i want to add another layer of specular right so although we have uh, decreased my layer weight uh, specular weight and uh, roughness so how i can add another layer of specular some somewhat like uh, uh, clay is weight right so for that case what i can use i can use coat right yes of course if i'm going to increase the weight of coat so what will happen again it will add another layer of shine right or specular you can say but it's another layer as you can assume it so might be i can add some weight as well and might be i can add some roughness as well okay, clay should not be that shiny as probably 0 0.6 or 0.5 will be good 0.6 I, I think 0.6 will be good now we are having something something like clay might be I can go to a uh, color and might be I can decrease the base color or somewhat I can decrease the specular color as well it's not mandatory you uh, you have to add color in specular but in this case I'm going to add it might be you can uh, use white color of a specular and you can change the coat color that's that's all up to you also, uh, you can change the anisotropy, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. What anisotropy will do, it will uh, create some illusion like uh, you have some, some metal in it, right? But I don't want to do that. If you want to experiment in that, you can use it, right? Somewhat we are having some amount of shape as well. Uh, another thing uh, what we can do, we can add subsurface scattering it's not mandatory but yes we can use it so if you want to know 
more in detail about surf surface scattering already i made a video in, uh, on that topic so you can go and can check so in surf surface i am going to increase my weight probably i can do this but as you can say it's turning to be a, a whitish kind of stuff but we don't need that so might be i can change my surf surface color to the base color somewhat like this right or might be little brighter value somewhat like that and keep it in mind if you are using surf surface scattering so you just need to go in shape and in ornol tab in ornol tab you have to switch off opaque value so what opaque will do opaque won't allow any light to enter in any surface right so you need to check it off and we are good to go now we can uh, go in clay shaders you can see easily you can uh, identify ki surf surface scattering is working and light is penetrating through the surfaces but i don't want ki it should happen in everywhere so how we can control that we can control it by decreasing the amount of scale right so you can work on scale as well so as you can see in some areas light is penetrating and in some areas we are having a good amount of thing and type should be random walk right so now you can see easily you can see we are having a few surf surface thing so i can probably i can decrease the scale might be 0.1 now i am having a good amount of surf surface scattering and now our clay shader is about to ready right on top of everything what else we can do as we i am getting over here let me just render a ipr so i am having a very clean and very smooth kind of uh, my surface so just to break it little what we can do we can just go to our hyper shade and i can probably take a clay shader and just i can click over here and now i can take a noise yes noise texture or uh, might be not noise texture i can take simple noise Oh, uh, might be AI noise, right? In AI noise, I can do scaling something like fifteen uh, by fifteen by fifteen, somewhat, and I can take AI normal, AI normal map, and I can make connection something like that, and and uh, might be out value should be in out normal. and if i'm going to select my noise and if i'm going to solo it so i can see what exactly my noise is doing to so might be i i need to change some values like uh 10 on uh, 10 and might be 10 so it will work if it will require we can change it any time so i'm going to do this and as you can see i'm having some break up something like that so what what we can do we can do a render without my normal right we can do a render without our normal and we can save it and we can compare it right so let it be now my render has been done i'm going to take a snapshot and i'm going to connect my normal ai normal map to normal camera and let it render again and again take a snapshot so you can easily see i am having some amount of break up right something like that so clay is not that clean so we need to add some break up as well this is a pretty basic thing you can experiment with the different uh, noise patterns you can use cell noise you can use a uh, a different amount of noise might be i am feeling that it's too big in size or too scaled in size so might be i can go over my noise and might be i can do 15 by 15 by 15 and we are good to go so by using these techniques by using simple uh, 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 changing simple values you can create different kind of uh, shaders as well okay so my render has been done and i am going to take a snapshot if if you want to create your uh, a clay shader in hurry 
so here you can click on preset and you have lots of lots of lots of presets over here so i can go over here and i can select clay and i can replace it right and if i'm going to render it you having your clay shader might be you need to change few settings but uh, more or less you can use same way either you you can create your own clay shader or you can use your uh, preset as well and in preset also you can change your uh, uh, settings as well somewhat i don't want this color so probably i can uh, choose this uh, somewhat chocolatey kind of stuff might be right so you can do something like that it's pretty simple okay so uh, this is the way how we can create our own clay shader and i hope today's video is a little informative to you and if you feel that this video is informative then please don't forget to share this video and like this video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day